The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. I had hoped the Geth would be useful. Indeed. I'm still double-checking any data it provides on the Ripper base, though. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet, per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships had cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them, if he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The Board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply. Come on.
Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot on Sio. I've updated the galaxy map. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. Even if we defeat the Geth, you will lose more ships, Tally. You need to be ready for that. My father once told me that commanders mourn losses, not people. He didn't think he could make the big decisions, the ones affecting the whole fleet, unless he put people at a distance. I don't think I can do that. Maybe I'm not meant to be an admiral. They need you here. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double-checking the inertia dampener coils. Can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me. So, before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? 
I'm hoping for the best, but I'm gonna keep my eye on him. That makes two of us. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Not everybody's as crazy as you, ma'am. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. We could have used you on Tachanka. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus. I'd believe just about anything. No? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. You know he's gonna keep bothering you till you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well... At least he's making friends.
Heard you were back in form blasting away flashlights down there. Maybe I should be more open-minded. But I'd rather scope down some tin can than a person. I'm wrecked. Right? Fine. I'll shut up. Still fighting Geth after all these years, huh? Humanity one, blinky flashlights zero. Hey there. Cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. If you can't tell me anything, I'm not taking resources away from the fight. Fair enough. I was wrong to ask for help. Not wrong, but I can't do it. Is there anything else? Yes. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me. Right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. 
Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Of course. P-O-R-A-E. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh, no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at... Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. Hello, Shepard. hours longer we'd have gotten the obelisk of Karza. I know the Hades Nexus is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain There has to be some way for us to get more medical supplies. I told you already, we have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here... Tally, Palavan was hit pretty hard. I know, but... We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Sorry about that. No, he's right. I just... I'll talk to you later.
Welcome to Kanala Exports. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Don't be Thank left you. out in the cold. Come again. Ask about our full service warranty. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. So you're keeping the peace? Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bint seen in Aljalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want. Uh. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner and show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe. Fifteen. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. <laughs> you were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. Well, she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you've been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. Pretty much, yeah.
inspector status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level, purgatory. Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, it won't stop a reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. They don't skip on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. were having fun? Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented this body to Jack, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. These are dangerous times. Make the most of it. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of... Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our... some texts from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D-24, if that would help. Really? Oh, damn. Couldn't hurt. Thank you. Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Please find me when you have enough footage, Commander. I'll be here. State Arms. Your purchases are accredited to your Gemini Reaper Forces. Hey there. Oh, it's you. Hi. Your parents get here yet? Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always get here.
Iris a LeBaron for money? Well, so long. I don't really sound like that, do I? Looks like you've been in some fights lately. And still me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. I find the best advanced battlefield strategy is to have more bullets than the other guy. Technically, it's thermal clips, not bullets. But who says I filled him with five detachable heat sinks? I sound 7% more like Commander Shepard than any other bootleg VI copy. Wait, wait. Forget the mech. Install me in one of those flying drones and stick a cane on it. You want help solving your problems? Get me out of this damn demo mode. Listen, if you don't have the credits, just tear me out of the terminal or something. Ever wrestle a Varen for money? Well, so long. I don't really sound like that, do I? Looks like you've been in some fights lately. And still me in a combat mech, and I can do some pretty crazy damage myself. I don't believe it. Knowles, I found another point where someone was using the Batarian access codes. Shepard, they're using it right now. I can trace them. Where are they? Right there in the refugee camp. I'm on my way. Here's our culprit, Shepard. Thanks for your help. Shepard? Of course. The hero of Earth, here to gloat. Do I know you? No. But you knew Commander Balak, our greatest agent. When you killed him in the sky over Terra Nova, you threw our external operations into chaos. The Reapers annihilated us, and most of our people have been transformed into monstrosities. A few remaining warships have resorted to petty piracy, while I steal scraps for refugees. This is the best the Batarian hegemony can do. You're pathetic. The Reapers destroyed our homeworld! Nulls, I'm invoking Spectre Authority. The Batarian refugees are a security hazard. I want them off the Citadel. Wait, please. We still have ships. We can help you. We can join your fleet. Get back to your people and make it happen. You've got 24 hours. You think the Batarians will work with us? We'll find out. Krogan leader. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. Nice! Vector status recognized. Please select a destination. Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the One element. moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium the Embassy. To retake the Volus homeworld from Reaper forces. Look, I filled out all the forms.
this is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it. But ensuring Citadel systems' integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption data... Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel dispatching a Cerberus raid. Added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. 